Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Bobby Belgian and I do motorcycle road trips. So on this video we will talk about my trip to Virginia. Uh, as I currently live in New York, I started from there and stopped in Philadelphia where I met with someone. Whenever I'm meeting with people, I don't film as much. So that will be some of the footage that will start this video. It's just me riding around Philadelphia and visiting. But I don't really, I didn't really take the time to make some proper things. I'll just go back, I guess, because it's pretty close from New York at some point. Uh, then I headed my way to uh, Washington DC and that's where we'll have more footage and me explaining my trip. So let's go for that ride, enjoy! So I am here in Washington DC, just got here, I'm sleeping in a hotel just over there, a uh, hostel over there, uh, it's kind of like yeah, cheap stuff, I'm just gonna spend the night, visit a bit tomorrow, and that will be it, I'll be on my way to Richmond, Virginia. Uh, I was just in Philly uh, yesterday evening, like a Friday, yeah, yesterday evening and this today. Uh, I didn't feel much because I was hanging out with someone and wherever I'm hanging out with someone I just don't feel I just most easily when I'm on my own. So yeah, I was just staying out uh, at, uh, with that person. Really nice uh, encounter, really nice. It is a very live neighborhood. And well yeah, uh, just having fun, just doing the road trip, uh, heading down to do like two days and a half in Richmond. That's gonna be more fun, I guess. But tomorrow, Washington DC, like touristic place and everything. Uh, hopefully, it'll be nice. All right, uh, I'm just gonna go sleep. I'm not gonna take advantage of the nightlife over here, I guess. In terms of riding the motorbike, uh, everything is doing pretty well in general. I just have like some minor things. Uh, I have one thing. I actually set up a USB thing here. I'm gonna check it right now because it was working earlier today and now it's not working anymore, so that's weird. And just gotta check that. I just actually ripped one up by getting into like one of, between one of those things. I ripped one of my uh, saddlebags, so I'll have to figure that out too. So I had a good night's sleep here in Washington DC. I'm just gonna go visit around with the motorbike and all the stuff on it. Uh, so the USB thing fixed itself. I don't know why it was not working anymore, but that's good. Uh, I'm just gonna put that saddlebag up here since it has been torn uh, and it's not able to like the rest of it. And I'll have to fix that at another, at another point. Yeah, she's gonna go see the Capitol, Washington Monument, White House, all those kind of things, and then head to Richmond. All right, let's go.
checked most of what I wanted to see here in Washington DC. Um, actually, it was a bit ridiculous. I went to like the place between the White House and the uh, Washington Monument. I was just like taking a bunch of pictures. I had it quite good, like in a similar way, like just that way. Basically, like I probably would be there instead of there. And at some point, a guy with a motorbike just came and like took a whole bunch of pictures and he put his like bike in the middle of like a place where there was like lines saying no, no parking. And he just kept his engine on, I guess. So they never told him anything. Me, like he goes away. I put my bike there because there's more light and like better pictures to be taken. And then they're like, boop, boop, you can park there. I'm like, there just has been a guy that didn't say anything about it. He stayed for longer than I did. I actually like parked first, like prepared to be like taking the least time I can in that spot. And you didn't tell him anything, but you tell me or something. Anyway, that's just fun. Stuff happens. It's a, it's a nice city. It feels European in some of the streets. And because of, I don't know, architecture and like smaller houses and different like this more like classical style. Uh, and definitely like those monuments and everything. It kind of like has that a bit of a European city feeling. So that was fun. I'm just gonna head to Richmond because I feel like just, I don't know, it's, it'll be more interesting over there to hang out. Here I'm just here to like just see the monument and like have been there. It's nice. I'll probably come back and maybe like to be something more cultural in the future, but for now it's just a quick stop. Anyway, let's go to Richmond. So I arrived in Richmond, not something I do a lot, I booked a hotel because it was kind of like cheaper than most options and I thought it was a good way to rest before festival. Uh, so I'm staying here for three nights in Richmond, I'll see if uh, Richmond doesn't seem to be that big so maybe I'll just check places around, we'll see. But yeah, just staying around here for now, having just some rest and trying to meet people. Maybe that they're going to the festival. I think that's probably a lot of people from Richmond that are going to the festival since it's only two hours away, so we'll see. Hey, so I took a nap in uh, my hotel uh, and took a little bit of time to do some research. I already knew that uh, Gore Bar is kind of like the metal hang around place here in Richmond. I think there used to be a lot more, but now it's kind of the only one. So I'm gonna go there, put my Gord t-shirt on. It's a clown t-shirt, but Gord. And I have also have a couple of other address. So I'm just gonna hang around town and see what, what's up, what comes, whatever. Let's go.
kind of done for today. I uh, went to Gorbar. It was fun. It's a good atmosphere. They have all of the costume and everything. It's nice. It's just Sunday, I think, so it's quite Anyway, I'm done for today. I'm just going to keep hanging out, just leaving the city and see what comes up. Uh, maybe go on some rides around the countryside. Alright, thank you for watching. Remember to see the next one.